Yeah, it was a tough weekend. The car pace we had wasn't ideal. All weekend, unfortunately, we, we found a couple of little gains in that last race um, here Sunday. So we, uh, we found what direction we needed just three days too late. So when we come back next year, we should be in reasonable condition, I think, to, to finish well inside the top 10. Um, it was tough on the championship for us this weekend with those results. Um, however, I think it's still wide open and we're still quite, quite excited about the opportunity we've got, particularly leaving here in Perth and heading to Winton, which is our home track. Um, in a couple of weeks. We've got a test day before then, uh, so we've got a few things that we need to try to make sure that we're in good nick for that round and, uh, and looking forward to, to performing in front of our, our home crowd. Yeah, we uh, didn't really expect the, uh, the cars and the track to react so differently here. Um, we're certainly hoping for a lot, a lot better result than what we got. And in the end, we, we all scratched our heads right up until really the last race of the weekend. And, um, we made a couple of really big changes um, to most of the cars, if not all the cars, for the last race, and and really found the direction that we we should have gone in, you know, back from Friday. So um, yeah, it was looking like we weren't ever going to work it out, and luckily we did. And my car was a lot better in the last race, and um, if we had had that car even in qualifying today, we would have would have been a lot different story. So um, yeah, not the result that we wanted, but uh, we certainly got a good direction on where we needed to be. You've got a car that's not quite ideal, it's very difficult to grab a good result, but I think we had three reasonably solid qualifying um, outings over the weekend which put us in a reasonable position. We did still fall back in the races, but I think we still gathered as many points as we possibly could, so that's pretty good, I think, from a tough weekend, and we just make sure that the weekends we, we, we've got coming up are very good weekends for us. Still quite dangerous, particularly with that amount of fuel sitting behind the rear axles when someone hits you from behind, it obviously is, is very dangerous. So. It's a good idea to make sure your window net and your door and everything is very easy to open so when your car does catch fire you can get out very quickly.